Remember those lovable bears from your childhood? Brother and sister bear always getting into mischief? Many fondly recall their adventures in books like The Berenstein Bears and The Missing Cookie. But hold on, take a closer look. You might be surprised to find that the books actually read Berenstain Bears. This seemingly small discrepancy has sparked a lot of debate and head-scratching. How could so many people remember the name of this beloved children's book series incorrectly? Welcome to the world of the Mandela Effect. The Berenstain, Berenstain Bears conundrum is just the tip of the iceberg. It's a prime example of a phenomenon that makes us question the very fabric of our memories and shared reality. The Mandela Effect is a strange and intriguing phenomenon that has captured the curiosity of many people around the world. It describes a situation where a large number of people share a memory of an event that didn't happen or that differs significantly from reality. This collective misremembering can be both fascinating and perplexing. The term Mandela Effect was coined in 2009 by paranormal researcher Fiona Broom. She was deeply intrigued by the phenomenon and decided to explore it further. Broom vividly remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s. This memory was so clear and detailed that it felt undeniably real to her. However, the reality was quite different. Mandela was released from prison in 1990, went on to become the president of South Africa, and eventually passed away in 2013. This stark contrast between memory and reality is at the heart of the Mandela effect. Broom soon discovered that she wasn't alone in her memory. As she shared her experience, she found that many others also remembered Mandela's death in the 80s. This shared false memory was not an isolated incident. Many people from different backgrounds and locations had the same recollection of Mandela's death, which led to widespread discussions and debates. The Mandela Effect isn't about lying or deception. It's a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of human memory and how our brains can sometimes play tricks on us. It highlights the fallibility of human memory and raises questions about how memories are formed, stored, and recalled. Scientists and researchers are still trying to understand the underlying mechanisms that cause such collective false memories. It makes us wonder, how can so many people be collectively wrong about something? The Mandela Effect challenges our understanding of reality and memory, prompting us to question what we know and how we know it. The Berenstein Bears and Nelson Mandela's death are just two examples of the Mandela Effect. This phenomenon, named after Nelson Mandela, occurs when a large group of people remember something differently from how it actually happened. It's a fascinating glimpse into the quirks of human memory and how our brains can sometimes play tricks on us. There are many more instances where collective memory seems to diverge from reality. These examples span across various aspects of culture, from movies and books to geography and brand names. It's intriguing to see how widespread and varied these false memories can be. One famous example is Darth Vader's iconic line in Star Wars. Many recall him saying, Luke, I am your father. This line has been quoted countless times in pop culture, reinforcing the incorrect memory. The actual line, however, is, no, I am your father. This subtle difference has led to much debate and confusion among fans of the franchise. It's a prime example of how our minds can misremember even the most famous lines. Another pop culture example is the Evil Queen's line in Snow White. Many remember her saying, mirror, mirror on the wall. This phrase has been ingrained in our collective consciousness through repeated retellings and adaptations. The correct line is actually, magic mirror on the wall. This small change in wording has led to widespread misremembering showing how easily our memories can be influenced by repetition and popular culture. It's not just movies and books, some people remember the popular hot dog brand as Oscar Mayer, instead of Oscar Mayer. This mix-up is another example of the Mandela Effect in action, where even brand names are not immune to collective false memories. Others have a strong memory of New Zealand being located northeast of Australia, when it's actually southeast. This geographical misremembering is particularly interesting because it shows how our mental maps of the world can be surprisingly inaccurate. And then there's the curious case of Shazam, a 90s movie starring comedian Sinbad as a genie. Despite many people vividly remembering it, this film never actually existed. This false memory has persisted for years, with many people swearing they have seen the movie. Despite many people vividly remembering it, this film never actually existed. This false memory has persisted for years, with many people swearing they have seen the movie. 
the Mandela Effect continues to be a fascinating topic of discussion, highlighting the complexities and fallibilities of human memory. Whether it's a misquoted movie line, a brand name, or even the location of a country, these examples remind us that our memories are not always as reliable as we might think. The Mandela Effect is fascinating but it has a scientific explanation. False memories. Contrary to popular belief, memory isn't a perfect recording of the past, it's more like a reconstruction, influenced by various factors. Our brains can be tricked into creating memories that never happened. This can occur due to biases, perceptions, preconceived notions and even our expectations. False memories are surprisingly common and can be very vivid and detailed making them feel incredibly real. Several psychological mechanisms contribute to the formation of false memories. We'll explore some of these in the following sections. Section 5. Confabulation. Filling in the gaps. One mechanism behind false memories is confabulation. This is essentially honest lying. Our brains try to make sense of the world and fill in gaps in our memories sometimes with fabricated information. Imagine reading a story with missing pages. Your mind might instinctively try to fill in the missing plot points based on what you already know. Similarly, when recalling past events, our brains might add or alter details to create a more coherent narrative. Confabulation isn't always a sign of a problem. It's a normal part of how our brains work. However, it can become more pronounced in people with certain neurological conditions. Section 6. Schema Theory and the Mandela Effect Another factor contributing to false memories is schema theory. Schemas are mental frameworks that help us organize and understand information. They're like mental shortcuts based on our experiences and expectations. For example, our library schema might include bookshelves, librarians, and a quiet atmosphere. When recalling a visit to the library, we might remember details that fit this schema, even if they weren't actually present. A 2022 study suggested that the visual Mandela effect might be explained by schema theory. People misremember details that align with their expectations. This could explain why some people remember the Monopoly man wearing a monocle even though he doesn't. Section 7. The Internet's Role in Spreading False Memories The Internet, while a vast source of information, can also contribute to the spread of misinformation and consequently, false memories. Information, including inaccurate details, can spread rapidly online, influencing what people believe to be true. Social media platforms, forums, and online discussions can create echo chambers where false information is repeated and reinforced. People might encounter altered images, logos, or quotes that support a false memory, further solidifying it in their minds. The Internet's role in disseminating information, both accurate and inaccurate, makes it a powerful tool that can shape our collective memory. Section 8. The Mandela Effect A Glitch in the Matrix? The Mandela Effect has sparked numerous theories, some more outlandish than others. Named after the phenomenon where many people falsely remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, it has since become a catch-all term for collective false memories. Some believe it's evidence of parallel universes colliding or glitches in the fabric of reality. These theories suggest that our world occasionally intersects with alternate dimensions, causing discrepancies in our memories. While these ideas are intriguing, there's no scientific evidence to support them. Scientists argue that the Mandela effect can be explained by the brain's tendency to fill in gaps in our memories, often influenced by social and cultural factors. The Mandela effect is a fascinating example of the fallibility of human memory. Famous examples include the Berenstain Bears, often misremembered as the Berenstain Bears, and the belief that the Monopoly Man wears a monocle, which he does not. It reminds us that our memories are not always reliable and can be influenced by a variety of factors. Social reinforcement, media, and even the power of suggestion can all play a role in shaping our recollections. It's a testament to the complexity of the human brain and its ability to both perceive and misperceive the world around us. Our brains are constantly processing vast amounts of information and sometimes, they get things wrong. While the Mandela Effect might not be proof of alternate realities, it does highlight the subjective nature of our experiences and the limits of human perception. It serves as a reminder that our understanding of reality is often shaped by our individual and collective memories, which are not infallible. Section 9. 
Conclusion, your turn to remember. The Mandela Effect is a captivating phenomenon that continues to puzzle and intrigue. While there are plausible scientific explanations for it, the experience of sharing a false memory with countless others can be unsettling. It makes us question the nature of reality and the reliability of our own minds. What are your thoughts on the Mandela Effect? Have you experienced it firsthand? Share your own intriguing examples in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more explorations into the mysteries of the human mind and the universe we inhabit.